Hi folks, welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is going to be episode 7 of the Beginner's Guide series. And we're at a bit of a juncture at the moment because we've got ourselves set up. We've got a nice little base here. We've tamed some pets. We've got a, a thrall. Uh, we've got the steel sorted out. So I've, off camera I've uh, harvested some more iron and got some more steel fire on the go. So that was enough to make me... I've got a full set of steel tools a steel short sword, a steel skinning knife, and a steel cleaver. Um, so we're, we're kind of ready, we've kind of we've kind of settled now, and we're kind of ready to move up further north in the map to a bit more difficult location where there will be more resources, in particular iron. Going forward with our moving forward into steel and hardened steel, we'll need a lot more iron and easier access to other locations on the map. But what I like to do before I move is to craft a whole bunch of building pieces and workstations and take them with me so that I don't have to craft it all and mine it all when I get there. Because uh, you want to get settled and safe and secure as quickly as you can. So what I think I'm going to do today is I'm going to get ourselves a mount. What what you can do in Conan Exiles is, as well as having a follower, whether that's a human thrall like Senk the Pillow Dancer behind us, or whether it's the Shaleback, the, you can have one of them following you, but you can also have a mount as well. There are two types of mount in Conan Exiles, but only one is accessible to the base game, which is horses. But if you have the Isla Sipta DLC, you can craft saddles to put on rhinos, and you can use a rhino as a mount as well. But if you don't have this Sipta DLC, you can still tame the rhino, you just can't make a saddle for it and ride it. And therefore you're, you're stuck with horses. So what we're going to do is we're going to head, we're going to go quite a far distance across the map. We will, I'll show you where you can get rhinos and then we'll head up and I'll show you where you can get horses. When, when the mount update first came out in the game, the foals that you need, maybe foals to get the horses, were all over the map, including down here in New River. And there's many videos that show you all the locations. But anything that's down the south end of the map, I've never seen a foal, ever. And there's two particular locations in the map that I always will see foals. One of which is all the way up north here, under this aqueduct, up in the highlands here. The other area is if we just head up here, just around here, we go through the mountains into the highlands, there's always foals there. There's a lot of nasty stuff to get to, boss tigers, the uh, rhinos and uh, elephants, tigers to get through to get up into this area. So it's quite a difficult, dangerous run. Whereas this run, if we head around the outside here, this is kind of, there's some hyenas around here, nothing too dangerous. We can get up through Sepa Maru, which is a friendly city. We can head up through here. There's rhinos are here and here, and then up through this passage and into the, the north here, find some foals, and then we can run out before we get anywhere close to the dangerous stuff up there, and we can head back with them. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I will either speed up the video or just cut the video to the various points along the route that it will take to get there, so I can show you the different landmarks to follow that route instead of you watching me run all this distance but basically we're going to head along New River right to the end here and we'll head up we'll go around the outskirts of the unnamed city uh, we'll head in here through Sepa Maru the city here uh, past there we'll go up and we'll head up that way past the rhinos and then up and get the the foals but it's going to be a bit of a run we're going to take Senk with us to protect us on the way and also be able to carry the the foals on the way back. Uh, so, oh, it was falling already, sorry. Follow me. Okay, so let's head off and go and get some mounts. 
Okay, so I've realised that there's been a bit of a problem with the audio recording on this section of the footage and there's no commentary track. So I'm currently trying to overdub it and hopefully try and match up as best as I can. So here we are, we've arrived at the west end of the New River. That structures through there you can see are a good landmark and you can see on the map there's a winding path that goes up the, the mountain. That section over there is the, the Dregs Dungeon, which we'll come to in a later episode. But we're now going to work our way up this winding path. At the top we're starting to go into uh, Hyena Country now. The landmarks we're looking for are those two large pillars that stick out. We're going to try and avoid the hyenas as much as we can. Heading towards those pillars. A little fight with the hyenas here. Couple more. When you get two hyenas like that, the fast attack speed between them really makes it really difficult to get a hit in, so really relying on Senk to take at least one of them down. When they're on their own, nice and easy. You can stun lock them with your left click. And again. Okay, I'm gonna head up this ramp. Alcavar's overlook through there. You can see the pylons up on top there. That's the pylons for the ghost fence. So we're going to avoid that one. It's ramp it straight ahead, and we're going to go up this one. It's to the right. The ghost wall up to the top. And there's the unnamed city. More ghost wall all around the edge. You can see you on the map that actually curves right round. And we've got to stick to the as close to the unnamed city as we can. And then we're going to stop just at that entrance there that was indicating with my box. Right, we're at this point here, we're just at the gate of the unnamed city. There we go, we've just got the marked on the map and got a journey step. So we turn left at this point and head back along this desert, which should be the jawbone. There we go. Okay, here we are is our next location and we are we've come along here along the job the edge of the jawbone and we're looking across to Sepper Maru, the relic hunter city, just in front of us there. And we've come across our first rhinos. So a couple of episodes ago when we were looking for thick hide, I said that I used to come all the way over here to get rhinos to get their thick hide. So this is where I would come. And just to show you, right, he's going to start attacking me. Right, he's going to try and charge. So sidestep that. He's got a few stacks of bleed on the sink there when he does that charge. Shoot him up. 
So they've only got 178 health, but being rhinos and thick hide, they have a lot of armor. So it take a lot more, a lot more killing. But they're still easily doable. And then you take your skinning knife and. Oh, yeah. And that gives you thick hide, get rid of the horn, and rhino hide. Uh, rhino hide that you can then strip into thick hide. But that's not what we're here for today, so we've got to skirt past them. There is a three, that big black rhino over there is a three skull rhino boss, so you definitely don't want to mess with him. Uh, so, the majority of Sepamaru, the city of the relic hunters, is, um, they're all neutral, so they're, they're not going to attack us. There is, if you go in that door and hang a right, there is a, an area of plunderers and rogues that will attack you, but the vast majority of the city is completely neutral. Just make sure that your follower, whether it's a pet or a human, is on guard me or attack nothing when you come up here. If it's set to aggressive, it'll just charge in and start fighting everybody and pull the whole city. And that's a really good way of dying. Right, we're just scouting the edge. We could we could have went in and through, but what we're aiming for is go right round the edge and we're aiming for that entrance over there into what's known as the Temple Quarter. And that will become clear when we get there. This is the temple quarter, and it's called that because there's a giant temple to set right there. So this is a great place to come to get thralls. So there's a blacksmith. Oh, there's a scorpion followed us in. That down there is called Waterside. Probably because it's beside the water. Right, come back here. Right, let's just go. But yeah, there's, there's Blacksmith 3s, there's an Armourer, and all of these have got a chance to spawn as named Tier 4. Tier four. Thralls. Right, so we're now out the other side of Sepamaru, at Ironbreaker Ridge, and we're heading towards this water over here. So, past these trees. Okay, so we're going to skirt around the right hand side of this over to this area over here. The Oasis of Neket. Lots more shalebacks up this area, up around the oasis. the edge and there is a jaguar so let's take him out Die. see he's got a lot more health than what that rhino had but has got very little armor so we can take him down easy right so that big rock there so that's the spawn point of the jaguar that great big rock there, we're going to go to the left of there and we'll get down to a dried sand bed. And it's starting to get dark. And if we turn right and look down here, there's more rhinos. And oh, we've 
pull that one. Let's take him out. Checking the durability of my shield, it hasn't got an awful lot left on it. But while well, she's taking that out, you can just see, just disappearing behind that rock there, there is a baby rhino. So there's usually two baby rhinos in that area. Oh, there was one. Is it dead yet? No. Got one there, and there was one just disappeared round that corner. Let's go take a look. There it is. Look. So let's let's grab one of these over here. Got it. Sank. Are you finished fighting yet? Yeah. Oh no, you're not finished fighting. Just haven't killed it yet. The wrong fight. Meh. That battle axe thing that I crafted for her, I'm not very happy with it because she seems to be doing a lot of. Ooh! Ooh, that hurt. This is bad, this is bad, I'm bleeding. Bandage to stop the bleeding, look at that, 36 health left. Get that thing down. Take a drink of water and then use another bandage. That was close. Okay, so I'm going to give you the Rhino to carry because they weigh 50 pounds, kilos, whatever it is that the weight unit is. Just like the little babies. Right, so this is where we are now. So we're going to head up here and then we're going to head... So these light coloured, these red bits are mountains and these light coloured are paths through the mountains. And we're going to head to this one here. So we're just going to head across there and straight up. Okay, we're up at the entrance to the path through the mountains now, and you can see there there's more rhinos. So all we've come from down there, and we've come up here, and up here there's various rhinos, and there's another rhino calf. So they're, they're all all up and down this area here. There'll be rhinos with rhino calf spawns as well, so you can get lots of calves up up this way. But right now we're going to head through this pass and head into the highlands. Out for the fallen rocks. Right, so we're leaving the sand and we're going into the bleak. Oh, there's the volcano in the distance in the snow area. I 
it's always pretty grey and horrible up here. Oh, and it's raining. Uh, okay, so we just, as we come through the the entrance, if we hang a right and go straight up here. Let's take a wee look. What can we see? Down and just around this area here, we should see some falls. Uh oh, wolves. Okay, two wolves, not going to be. Come on, Sam. We're, we're up north now, we're in the dangerous territory up here. Too far over. Maybe I have. Oh, there's one there. Look. A little whoop, bouncy. There we go. Pick it up. Uh, give me some of your food. Go that way. So that's a foal. Again, it's a cute pet. Weighs 50. You can carry that. There's three normally in the area. I don't know why they're bouncing about. There we go. That one settled down. Whoa. Did you see that just disappear? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Just totally disappeared. Oh, there's one. Is he going to disappear as well? Boom, got it. Right, give me some more of your food and I'll swap you for a foal. So we've got two horses. Uh, that other one just disappeared into thin air, which is a bit weird, but hey ho, it's Conan Exiles. There's another one over there. A couple more wolves up there. But that's us done. Two's enough. We've got, we'll have one and a swear. Oh, there's, there's another one. But I'm not going to pick that up and carry it back. Right, so we're just going to head back the way we came and head back to our, our base where we will look at getting these things tamed up. So I'll see you when we get there. Home sweet home. Okay, so here we go, back home again. Right, the rhino goes in the animal pen. Oh, I never showed you this. So back in the pet taming video, we ended up picking up two uh, crocodile hatchlings just over in the lake over there. And I, I threw them in here with um, their favoured food, which is uh, feral flesh. And I got one greater crocodile and one normal crocodile. So out of two, I managed to get a greater crocodile, but still in there. Right, rhino calves, they like bark. So let's hit a tree with a pickaxe. And put that in there and the rhino will start taming. Okay. 
we need to tame the foals, we need a stable. So we go in our feet under survival and scroll all the way at the bottom. Wow, that's not survival, that's weapons. Go all the way at the bottom. We have stable master, which will teach us the stable. So if we learn that, it's crafted in the carpentry bench. What do we need to craft that? Uh, animal bench stable. Oh, we need brick. Oh, we haven't encountered brick yet. Okay, so we need 15 brick. So brick is made in the furnace by putting stone in the furnace. So luckily I've been working on the material. So if we take a thousand stone and light it up, 10 stone gives you one brick. And we need 15 bricks. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Alright. Put my bricks back, my stone back in there. I'll leave that later on. Fifteen brick, and I think it was twenty twine? Ten twine. Put no twine in there. Ten twine. Stable. Craft going to take a wee while. Back in a minute. Okay, our stable is ready. So let's put that down on our toolbar. It's quite big, so we'll stick it outside. Stick it over here. Alright. Oh, let's, let's get you out of the way. side with your, with your wee pal. It's nowhere near as big as the animal pen, but it's about the same size as a, a small animal pen. So put that down there. There's only room for one, so we put one in there, and then we have to give it some plant fiber. Let's take some plant fiber. Put that in there and leave that horse to, to craft up. Okay, we're back again. And as you can see behind me, there's been a bit of carnage while we were away. This corrupted crocodile came swimming across the river from over there and killed the little shaleback. But the greater shale back and sank. Saw him off. But sadly, he's gone. Never mind. Because we've got a horse. The colour that you get of the horse, I think there's maybe four different colour variations. And then if you get DLC, that'll give you the options to make um, items that can change the colour to other, I think a pure black and a pure white one. But the one we got is a grey one, so we can pick it up, stick it in our slot, just like a like a follower. We can put it down, and there's our horse. And also, in there, you can see we've got a rhino. Pick him up. Put him down. Okay, so we've got, got these guys now. Each has got 10 carry slots. There we go. But we can't ride them because we haven't got a saddle. So we need to learn how to make saddles. So inner feet, saddles are under armour. And if we scroll down, we have the novice saddle maker. Did we learn that? Did that, did that work? Nope. Unlock. There we go. Okay. Uh, so that allows us to make a saddler's work table. And we can make light rhino, 
Rhino Saddles if you have the Sipta, Isle of Sipta DLC and you can make Light Warhorse Saddle We need to be level 40 to make the the medium armor saddles so we can only make the light ones at the moment but first of all they're both crafted at the saddler's work table so we have to make one of them so what does that require it needs 50 shape wood 50 twine and 50 leather 50 50 50 okay so 50 twine 50 leather and 50 shape wood. Shape wood is just made in the carpenter's bench. 10 wood gives you one shape wood. Okay. And we've kind of run out of space. Will it fit in there? Yeah, it kind of obstructs the door a bit. Tell you what, can we just pop it down out here for now? Okay, and then in here we can make the saddle. So that's iron bars and leather. Both require iron bars and leather. Do we have iron? No, I think we've turned all the iron bars into steel. We have. Okay, I'm going to go for a iron run and I'll be back very shortly. Okay, well that got delayed slightly because we just had a sandstorm pass by, so just sheltering in here waiting for the, the storm to pass. It's now cleared off, so it's safe to go back outside again now. Alright, that should be what we need, so let's make a sort light horse saddle and let's also make a rhino one. So we can check them both out. Okay. Right. There's horse. I'll give him the saddle. Gives him a bit of armor, not an awful lot, and it reduces his sprint cost. Give you the Rhino saddle does the same for him. Alright, so they're very much hmm? similar, except so the horses is maybe a little bit more agile. And they can wander around it. Just just riding the horse makes it level up. So the more you it'll also level up to twenty. So the more you ride it, the more it'll level up. The advantage the horse has got is that it can hit space and it will jump. So you can jump over rocks and still get stuck in trees though. Uh, and of course if you hit space bar while you're stationary, it rears up and that's always cool. But as you can see, we're on a mount, the mount is following us and so is our follower. So. What it'll mean is we'll have 10 slots of in the horse that we can carry stuff with and we'll have 10 slots in the shale back that we can carry stuff in. So we can carry 20 stacks of items and, and a stack of items can be 100 foundations. So we could basically carry a whole base up to where we want to go without a problem. Right, so I'll tell them to stand guard there. And we'll get on the Rhino. Oh, now the Rhino moves about. It's a little, not quite as nimble and agile as the, the horse, and it's not as fast. Still sprint. A bit more lumbering. And of course, a Rhino is way too big to jump. But what a Rhino can do that a horse cannot. And it has a big horn on the front that presses space on that instead of jumping attacks and it does a, a decent amount of damage there we go right uh, same again for the animals is that you you feed feed them rhinos you best it, it's 
you're not going to do that much. In, it's a mount. You, it's, you don't really care that much about strength or agility or anything like that. So we're just going to feed the the bark because it's easily accessible. What else is a Highland berries, plant fiber, anything that will allow it to eat and get its health back when if required. The the thing that the horses like most is vines. Uh, and vines, I don't think it's these, is it these trees? Nope, that's plant fiber. These ones, like little plants like this, but they, they tend to have like, ah, like these ones. Alright, somebody take them out. These sort of palm ones that have got like the broken uh, leaves hanging down. So these plants, with a sickle, let's get you out of the way. Oh, am I hitting the plant? I am. So yeah, the ones, the ones with the broken leaves. If you hit them, you get vines. Any more? Around here somewhere. Where the alligators are, or the crocodiles are, sorry. Uh, so not those ones. Take him out. These ones, with the broken leaves. head back to the horse, we can give him the vines, and that, that helps his vitality. Gives him more, more hit points. There we go. So rhinos are fun. Unfortunately, you do have to have the, the Isla Sipta DLC, like I said before, to, to use them. Uh, you did have the wheel inventory, put the vines in his inventory, there you go much away on them. Now, stats, and you can see Vitality's got a 14%. He's already got an 88%, so it's pretty much guaranteed to get at least one level in Vitality every time he levels up, and they get perks, just like the the Thralls do at 10, 15, and 20. So there we go, that's the two mounts in the game. Uh, I personally prefer the horses, just because of the, the speed and agility and being able to jump. Not too bothered about the attack of the, the rhino, but certainly fun. And the, the best thing is they'll be able to carry 10 slots worth of kit with me riding it, and then they can have another 10. So we'll, we'll, when we do get ready to build our base and move, we can take the whole base with us at one trip. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.